are you thinking? Are you way alive? Faith? Nemo harabe waye babe. Buzara Hamabu. Nemo Hamabu. Dai bu embarad. Bu akaza ibu mar. Masarbu. Babe. Amji apa nu agora nada. Mamina torrana wane. Anjia o meu belo. Do capanu era da Waldani. Da Jumabe de Aurora, Monesida. Matebu era said was there was something I needed to see. No other explanation was offered. And so our journey that had spanned two worlds, bridged the Stone Age in the 21st century, finally led us here, down the lonely Kordavai River. Is this 
is it? Is this what, is this what happened? Baba Badasya. So what died about that day, Abbasida? Who says about Kira Abbasida? Tava quente a doana aqui na caboia. My father lost his life at the end of the spear. And it was at the end of the spear that Minkayani and I found ours. It's true that my dad and his four friends were not given the privilege of watching their children and grandchildren grow up. But Minkayani is a grandfather. It's the first time in Wadani history they've ever had so many grandfathers. He's not only a grandfather to his own children, he's a grandfather to mine. My dad would have liked that. Through the years, people could always identify with our loss. 
but they could never imagine the way that we would experience game. Minkai got to come to the States, and that has started these visits. He said some of the foreigners are so nice that even when you're, when you're driving, you just stop by their houses, and, and you go to one of, the, one of the openings in their walls, and he said they just open it for you, and, and then they start giving you food, and it's already hot, and it's already cooked and stuff. He said, I see those foreigners very, very well. When Minkai came back from the States the first time, he told the people that the foreigners are really big and fat because even when they go walking, they don't move their feet. They just get on the trail, and the trail moves. Well, Ompore, his wife, said, oh, you're talking wild. Minkai just kept saying, that's why all the foreigners are fat. They don't walk. They don't climb. They don't make gardens. But when they got to that one, Ompore just, she just said, well, how are they going to live then? And Kai said, they have these big food houses. And he said, there's just piles of food. First, there's these young people, and they're standing at the place where you go out, and you smile as big as you can. And he said, they pretend like they're not seeing you. And then he said, then after a little while, then they look at you and they smile. And he said, when they smile, boom, you can just go and take all the food with you. And I said, well, it's... It's kind of like that, so I just took out my credit card, and I said, first you have to give them something like this. And Minkai looked at all of them, he smiled, and he said, they just give it right back to you. Ompore started griping at me. She said, Babe, what do you mean sending Minkai back here? He was so fat that whenever I'd say, Minkai, go out and bring some meat back for me, she said, he would just go out and he'd find a tree, and he'd just, mo. all the fear Nothing familiar But a voice spoken clear Surrounded by strangers Living with the same pain A need to surrender
once was lost, hope has found. The journey has only begun along the river, along the